Want to get started on this edit? Well, you've come to the right place. Before we get started, make sure to follow me on Roblox and join my Roblox group. Let's get into the video. So I'm going to try and make this as easy to understand. First, go in the search bar and look for TTD3. Click on the first option that shows up. Click on servers and make a private server. I already have one, so I don't need to make one. Once you're in the game, click on the map icon at the top. At the right side, you should see a list of locations. Click on the one that says beach and then click teleport at the bottom. Walk out on the boardwalk. This is where you will record your character on the white strings. Position your character however you'd like. Perfect. Now on the left side, you should see a panel that says emotes. There are two emotes you can use for this edit. The first one is float. It's the first option that shows when you search for float. You can also change the speed of how fast or slow you want to do the emote. For the second option, go back to the emote panel and search for Dancing Dead. This is the one Vanny used in her edit. You should obviously change the speed before recording. You can also change the lighting to have a more dramatic effect. Choose whatever lighting you think fits the best. Once you're done, record your character doing whatever emote you chose. When you are editing, add the white lines manually. Now moving on to the next step. Find or search catalog avatar creator. Scroll down to servers and make a private server. Now once you're in, click on settings at the bottom right and then environment. Scroll down and choose the green option. This should make everything around you green. Now zoom in on your character's head and take a screenshot of that part. Next, go to Canva. I'll have it linked down below in the description. On the left side, click the Create button with the plus sign. Go down to Custom Size and enter what I enter. After that, click on Create New Design. A blank page should open up for you. On the left side, click on Design and search for Newspaper. There are many different options to choose from. Choose whatever you like. Once you've found your ideal newspaper, click on it. Don't worry about all the bloat. We're going to delete. To make it easier, I'll also provide the link to a newspaper template you can use in the comments section. Don't worry about the random gibberish, you can always edit it later. Next, import the screenshot you took of your Roblox character earlier. You can do this by going to Upload and then Upload Files. Resize your image to fit the newspaper perfectly. Remove the green background by pressing BG Remover at the top. If you don't have Canva Pro, I'll link a free background remover down in the description. Next, go to the Elements tab and search for a dark red gradient. Look for one you like, and if you don't find one, you can always search for one on Google. Resize it to be in size like your Roblox character. Press Alt plus 1 to see the layers. Drag the red gradient behind your Roblox character. Once everything is all set, search just for a red gradient. Again, if you don't find any that's free, look for one on Google. When you're editing, the words imperfect and human will go near the top. Now search for a horizontal line. 
position it about where I have it. The words, are we, will go on the top of this line. Now I'm just editing these lines and we can write stuff in the text boxes. Honestly, you can write whatever. In my edit, I yapped about ducks and my favorite YouTubers, but honestly, you could just put some placeholder text and you'd be fine. That's it for the newspaper. You can obviously add some more details and decorations, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I wanted to keep it simple and to the point. For the next part, you're going to go to the description of this video and click on the mega link I provided. It should take you to a zip file. Download it. Now in the file explorer, you should see the show and tell tutorial material zip file that you downloaded. Right click and open with Windrar. If you don't have Windrar, I can link a link for you to download it. Inside you should see a folder. If you double click it, you should see two more folders that say DTI shelf and doll boxes. The DTI shelf is a PNG file that you can download for an empty DTI shelf for your edit. Moving on to the doll boxes folder. There are many different doll boxes that you can choose from with different colors. To use this effectively, just drag and drop the folder to the downloads in the file explorer. We're going to move back to Canva. Hit the create button and then go down to upload and upload your doll box that you chose. Click on Use in a new design. Then click on Custom Size and then create a new design. Import your Roblox character from the catalog avatar creator screenshot you took. Make sure to remove the background. Resize your image like you would normally do. Now go to the text panel and look for text that you think would fit your doll box. Once you found your ideal text, just edit the text like any normal person would do. Change the color, the stroke, etc. Now you should obviously spend a little bit more effort than I did, but do whatever you want to do. Make the text whatever you want, and then save your image. That's it for this tutorial. This is everything you need to make the edit. I wish you luck in your editing. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if this tutorial helped you.